Well, I think it's obvious Cletus needs a little help with his driving skills. So uh, let's see if we can improve his steering capability and uh, see if this helps. Here's a wheel that uh, pretty much we did using our last tutorial method. Uh, let's see if I can make it spin. And there it is, it's spinning around. Nice uh, big truck tire. And uh, let's see how we can make that turn to uh, approximate steering. Now, the best method to do steering is to buy the new physics toolbox that they've just released. But this method might be good for certain things. Probably, once again, not the best method, but it is a method to make things steer. So what I've done here, I've taken a cone and I've named it Look At, and I've turned it into a dummy object. It has the red outline. If I hit Control D, the dummy disappears. So I'm going to use this dummy. Let's rotate the dummy and uh, get to snap there. And I'm going to line it up roughly uh, with the center of the wheel's axle, where that would be roughly there. Not that it's too important in this situation, but we'll line it up kind of close. So we've got the wheel. Let's tell the wheel to uh, look at and uh, look at the target, and we're going to have it look at the cone. So now we see what we're beginning to do here. It's looking at the cone, and the cone is going to act as the uh, object to steer the wheel, and so it can rotate still. Okay, let's add another wheel and uh, slide it over roughly where it might be. Uh, now it does need to be rotated, and uh, I do have some scripts I've created for the wheel already, and we'll perform a fast rotation, and now it's turning in the correct rotation. There is the other wheel. So that's good. So let's uh, take our look at target here. Let's just duplicate that. Kind of hold down the control key and move it over to the other wheel. And uh, slide it about here. Let's move that a little about here. And uh, once again, we'll tell this wheel to look at the cone. And uh, notice that it flipped around. We can tell the look at axis to shift, and we're going to go back to the Y. And now, rotating correctly, it is turned correctly. And let's see if it will look at. Okay, very good. Now we've got both wheels looking at a target, but the targets aren't synchronized in any way. So that's going to be a little tricky. So let's add another object. And I just took a cube and turned it into a rectangle here. And I'm calling it the tie rod. And I've made it to a dummy object as well. If I hit Control D, all these dummies will go away. Now I'm going to tell this target to attach itself to the control rod, and this target to attach itself to the tire tie rod here, which is the control rod. And now look what's going on. Now we have synchronized the two targets, and the wheels will turn, and uh, that'll be really cool. And now we can then animate and have that follow a path or whatever. So uh, that is one thing we can do to uh, help a vehicle steer. OK, all that remains now is for us to attach our vehicle body. We'll use the old truck here. And uh, I'll move it and position it roughly. And close enough for our purposes. And uh, of course, we would do rear wheels, but they don't have to necessarily steer like the front ones do. So now let's take the uh, tie rod, and we want to attach it to the truck body. And uh, you'll notice that uh, the wheels aren't going to go because they aren't really attached. They are simply looking at the target, which is attached to the tie rod. So the wheels will need to be also attached to the truck body. And if you just attach those, and now everything will move, and the tie rod will help you steer. And you've got your rotation already built into the wheel, so you should be uh, pretty good to go after you get your rear wheels. So there you go. Quick, down and dirty way to steer a vehicle. Uh, 
without using the physics toolbox, but physics toolbox is going to give you a lot more options, so that's really the best way to go. But if you're cheap like me and don't want to spend any money uh, and fake it, then this may be a good way to do it.